this afternoon from Imugene is Leslie Chong. Leslie, good afternoon. Hi there, Andrew. A big, uh, big, significant milestone from you this morning. The final positive analysis here from the phase two Hervex uh, study. Tell me, these results here were they better than you were expecting? <laughs> um, yes, it was uh, serendipity in a lot of ways because I'll tell you why. Back when the Interim Data Monitoring Committee looked at our data, we had this beautiful hazard ratio. We had a 5.4 separation of medium OS between the Hervax arm and the chemo arm. And the IDMC committee said, you don't have to enroll to 68. You can cut it down to nearly half. And so we did that. But when you cut that many patients, you've actually lowered the odds of uh, increasing um, your outcome, right? So the more numbers that you have, the less variance may be. And so I was nail biting for this OS thinking, gosh, with the less numbers, you know, I just hope that it, I just hope that these numbers still stays true. And lo and behold, I mean, you know, you could only do so much to a study the study is going to prove itself and it, and it, and it has done that exactly. Hmm. It went from 5.4 separation of OS medium to 5.6. So even the OS data with this fewer number of patients have, uh, have statistical, statistical significant number of 5.6 separation, 5.6 months of separation for these patient populations. So I'm just delighted. And I suppose looking a bit bigger picture, taking Hervax from preclinical to now having a positive phase two outcome, that's a, that's a big accomplishment in itself. Oh, well, I am so, so proud of Imugene. Not a lot of people get to say in their lifetime that they've taken a preclinical product all the way to a successful phase two, and we've done it. So uh, I'm really just incredibly proud of uh, imaging. Tell me a bit more about this. A new higher dose of Hervax has now been approved for, for some subsequent studies. That's right. So in that announcement, there's three significant events. Not only did we achieve OS, 5.6 separation has a ratio at 0.585. Uh, we also have been able in the background to get it dose escalated to 100 micrograms. So what that means is we've taken a higher dose that is as safe as 50 micrograms and potentially maybe even more efficacious into our combination. And across all our studies, we'll be able to dose escalate on up to 100 micrograms. Again, providing more medicine, maybe even potentially making it even more uh, efficacious. We know that the safety is intact, so that combination is gonna be just gorgeous. And then in fact, we've uh, made enough to ensure that we have supplied it for every one of our studies that moving forward. So what, what is the focus going forward for Hervex? Well, for us, I mean, we love the fact that we got an OS data and I can also tell you that the patients remaining they're on the Hervax arm. So the data at the end of the study data could look even more spectacular than what we have now. So we've reached our end point. The end of the study data will be fully published, you know, in, in other publications, but we will publish on this OS, um, final OS data. So we're going to focus on our combination because we have a combination in the neoadjuvant space. So that's the perioperative, preoperative state. In combination with avalumumab, we have a supply agreement, as you know, with Merck's Corona Pfizer. And then our next horizon study, this is a patient population that have failed off of previous lines of therapy, and that goes into a Hervax plus pembrolizumab combination. And then we get to put in a higher dose. We know our drug is safe. And so that combination could just, it could be pretty thrilling as to what we can produce. Hmm. Well, look, Leslie, after a couple of tough months, not, not, just for Imugene, but for biotech. Must be nice to be here talking about some, some positivity. Well, you know, I mean, it's just the nature of the game. Uh, we're in an industry where biotech happens to be a speculative market. And I am glad that our technology has done what we would hope that it would do. 
which is to benefit patients. So we have patients living a lot longer than uh, what was expected. We have a patient on that's going on 900 days. So um, it's pretty incredible. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. Good to speak, Leslie. Thanks very much. Thank you.